Hello everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Pisces weekly guidance message for April 18th through April 24th. In this message, Pisces, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We'll look at what's challenging this. We'll see where this is all headed in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, let's dive in here, Pisces, and see what we can see for your energy this week. Most important message here for Pisces spirit, what do my Piscean friends need to see. Now this tower energy that's in the reverse, this is avoiding an ending, fell out of the deck when I was shuffling. Mm -hmm. That explains it. Some sort of ending here, Pisces, that you're avoiding in this energy. I do feel like this person has you competing for their time and attention. There's definitely third-party energy that's coming out here. I see a lot of waiting. The energy surrounding you this week is a lot of waiting. Waiting, being on guard, trying to focus on your goals, trying to look into the situation to seek more information. We're going to clarify all of this here in a minute. The challenge here, Pisces, is you're up in your head thinking about this tower energy, about this ending that's about to transpire. And I do feel like a tower, guys, is unavoidable. Okay, so you can put this off. You can try to delay this ending however long you want. But eventually this tower is going to fall. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be the final nail in the coffin, the end all be all, but it does represent a change, a change in the dynamic, a change in the energy, a change in the energetic exchange between you and this person. What's to come if you stay in this energy, Pisces, if you continue to deal and continue to avoid this tower energy is a lot of sadness. You could get what you want. This could end up in a marriage or a long-term commitment, a partnership. But I feel here by sugarcoating or cushioning this fall, avoiding this ending, putting up with this person's BS is basically how I see this playing out. By dealing with their nonsense, it's not allowing a shift to take place. This person isn't learning the lesson they need to learn in order to move forward, okay, to ascend to the next level. In the same context, Pisces, you're stuck in this sadness, this energy of regret, resentment. There could be happy times in between, but I feel here for the most part, there is going to be a lot of sadness in your future if you hold on to this connection too long. So let's clarify all of this for you guys in this energy. If you find the messages helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. We're going to start with the seven of wands, two of wands, page of pentacles energy here for the energy surrounding Pisces this week. Does Pisces need to see here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Okay. So, for a lot of you, there is a person who is trying to make their way towards you, but by holding on to this connection, you're missing this person coming around. Not to say that it's a missed opportunity, but I feel like this 
this connection that you're avoiding, there's lessons to be learned there as well. Okay. Even if it's just a friend, I do feel part of the challenge here, Pisces, is you're trying to avoid, avoid this ending in order to shift this energy. Okay. There's an energy of acceptance that needs to take place. The strength card is missing. However, you need to accept that this has come to terms. So in this energy, this person isn't changing. And if you're okay with how they're treating you, then by all means, you could stay in this energy, which is, again, going to keep you stuck in this sadness, this loss, this burdensome energy. Or you can accept that I can't deal with this anymore. Okay, how this person is treating me isn't right. And if I want to find something better, I might have to let this person go. I might have to let this tower fall. And I do feel like you are avoiding an ending here, Pisces, for sure. But by holding on to this connection, it's going to bring in a lot of sadness and a lot of discomfort into your life. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Your advice, guidance moving forward here, Pisces. We have the three of the high priestess, the three of cups the page of cups and the judgment energy. There's a need to be honest with yourself here in the present energy. You need to trust your intuition here with the high priestess. Okay. This third party energy isn't shifting. And by you entertaining, by you staying here and accepting this, it's keeping you stuck in this energy. If you want to free yourself from this sadness, from this, Feeling like you're having to compete and wait for this person, you're going to have to put yourself first. You're going to have to choose you. And it may be difficult in this energy to accept because I do feel like you are holding on to this connection. Trust the process here, Pisces, because there is a good possibility for this person to come back around and offer you what you truly desire once you walk away. But don't let that be the out that the prize, what you envision for the outcome. Focus on what you envision for your future. You know, be honest with yourself about this person. With this person having you compete for their time, attention, energy, is this something that you're going to want to entertain for the long term? Or is this something that you're just using to pass the time? Really have to ask yourself, Is this worth it? So your soul truth message here, Pisces, coming out for your weekly reading. Am I letting fear stop me? Are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now? Are you stalling, freezing, or giving up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable, but it's up to you to see that by taking action. Today's soul action. Today be brave and do it scared. Choose one fear and move through it. You are in need of a hero, so that is who you will become. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Pisces, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.